In this ZNZ training video, I'm going to show you how to edit all of the information that's listed on your custom ZNZ page. And this includes your name, email, all of your ZNZ referral numbers, and your net spend referral code. So if you have to edit any of this information or update them, then all you have to do is log into your account. And you do that by visiting the page that you're on right here. And if you need to access this page, you also should have the link in the confirmation email that you received. And you can also go to znzadteam.com. And then if you click on the support tab, and then just click on the member login button right here. And then all you're going to do is enter your username and password to log in. And then as you can see right here, this lists the current information that is on your page as of right now. So as you can see, all of these fields are inactive. So if you need to update one of these, or let's say the referral number was wrong and you need to edit it, all you have to do is go right here to update page and you can go ahead and click on that. And then you're just going to edit the fields that you need to update. So right over here where it says update to, you're just going to go ahead and I'm just going to put an example, a couple of numbers in here. And then you scroll down and you go ahead and click on update. Now, as you can see, now the current fields have been updated to what you just adjusted it to. So it's the same thing if you need to adjust your name or your email. You just come over here and then whatever you need to update to, you just put that in. Click on update. And then it updates it for you. And if you want to actually see the update on your page right at the bottom, it'll tell you where your link is. So you can go ahead and click on that. It'll open up your link. And then as you can see, your information was updated. And if you go ahead and click on your links, it'll show you that it was updated to that referral ID number. So very easy to adjust the information on your custom page if you need to do that. And that pretty much covers how to edit the information listed on your custom ZNZ page.